Okay people, this is himself. Welcome to my speed guide for Marduk. The idea behind this is simple. I show you all the basics and essentials that you need to learn to play an effective Marduk as quickly as possible. The topics that I'll be covering are punishes, throws, stances, wall gain, combos, special moves, rage and playstyle. Each one of these has a timestamp so you can jump to whichever one you want. With that out of the way, let's begin. Starting off with punishers. At 10 frames, we have 1 down 2. At 12 frames, we have up forward 1 2. And at 13 frames, we have DF 4 2. This can wall splat. At 15 frames, we have DF 1. At 17 frames, we have DF 3 DF 1. These are both launchers. The former also covers his weak side. For a long range punish, we have F 1 plus 2. This is 15 frames and a power crush. On hit, we also get O key. If they stand or back roll, DF1 launches. If they stay down, D3. We also get a stomp at the wall. For while standing punishes, at 11 frames we have while standing 1, at 13 frames we have while standing 4, and at 18 frames we have while standing 3. Now while while standing 1 is low damage, you can go into stance. Then you can apply a mix up. We also have up forward 1 2 at 12 frames and up forward 1 plus 2 at 17. These though are highs, so you can only punish moves that recover standing. Let's talk throws. For a 1 break, we have Jackhammer. This is 50 damage and you get OK. Your best options are D3, D4, and DF3, DF1. The lows are for grounded, the launch is for back rollers. For a 1 plus 2 break, we have all around the world. This is a launcher. The easy combo is this. It does 75 damage and the sweep is guaranteed. For a 2 throw, we have power slam. This cannot be buffered. If you hit 1 plus 2, you go into mount, but you also lose damage. If you don't transition, then you get OK. Your best options are D3, D4 and DF3, DF1. The lows are for grounded, the launcher is for back rollers. Marduk also has VTS throws. The one throw is choke slam and this has no OK. Key. The two throw is scoop slam. This guarantees a D3. DF1 also launches standards and back rollers. Marduk also has ground throws. The one throw is the toss up. The two throw does direct damage. With the toss up, if it's from the floor, you get a full combo. If it's inside a combo, then you change your approach. One option is ground pound. If this hits in the air, then the sweep is guaranteed. If it's late though, then you get extra damage. An alternative is the stomp. This guarantees a ground pound. You also get while standing 3 if it's them standing. When they're sideways and face down, both rows give you rib smash. Oki is then D3, D4 and DF1. The lows are for grounded, the mid is for everything else. Marduk has Veil 2 door stance. This can be entered and exited using 3 plus 4. Now while in stance, all while standing moves are available. The only exception is up forward 1 plus 2. This will come out as the tackle. Now the tackle is a long range mid hitting throw. If it's early, you get the lift and drop. If it's late, then you get the spear. Either way, you go into mount. From there, you have eight possible attacks. The single buttons, including the fake outs, all give melon mashes. From there, you get Oki. For left melon mash is back four, D4 and D3. For right melon mash is back four, D4 and F4. Now the double button attacks do more damage, but they also leave us at minus frames. That means the opponent gets a wake up kick mix up. 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 4 are also slower. That means that some people can react to them and break them. Let's talk wall game. For splatting, your best option is DB2. This is mid and safe. 
to stop people sidestepping, use FF4. This is slower, but it's mid and homing. For wall bounce, Marduk has two options. The first is Bazooka Heal. This is high and it's minus 14, but it also has pushback. The other is Power Straight. This comes out of stance and it's also minus 14, but it's mid and power crushing. For Wall Crush, Marduk has Ballista Fist. This has to be fully charged, but it's mid mid. On block, you have a range of options. Your best ones are Up 4 3, Babel Smasher, or the Hammer. With the latter, it's plus one on block. You also get a Stomp or a Ground Throw attempt on hit. Let's talk wall combos. Your best guaranteed damage is Brat Combo. The Oki though is not good. For max damage, use Ground Throws. These can be broken, but definitely worth the risk. An alternative is Flash Hook. This flips them over. From there, you have a mix up. For highs, use VTS Throws. For a mid, use Wire Standing 2. And for a low, use Python Explosion. Another alternative is the tackle. Here, if they tech roll, Marduk will track them. You also get the spear, which is harder to break. For wall breaks, you have two options. If it's an early splat, use Bazooka Heal. If it's late, back four. Let's talk combos. Now there's a load of videos out there, so I'm not gonna show you the sequences. What I am gonna show you is launchers and enders. Your main launchers are DF1, Wild Standing Free, and Ballista Fist. The first two are Punishers, the other is only minus 10. You also have DB2. Now this may be a counter launcher, but it's mid, safe, and only 16 frames. Now Marduk's combos go down one of three routes. Either damage, Oki or wall carry. For damage, you need to VTS cancel. The way I do it is DF3-1-2, hit 4, hold it and then double tap 3. This will take you in and out of stance. From there, do a clean air suplex. Also, make sure you hit DF3 shallow. That will leave the opponent higher in the air and make the throw easier to connect. Once the suplex lands, you do get a mix-up. D4 hits side rollers, ground pound covers the rest. With the Oki route, swap out air suplex for gator slam. This then gives you a three-way mix-up. If they back roll or wake up kick, DF1 launches. If they stand, go for a back throw. And if they side roll, use a ground throw. With the wall carry route, you have to change your combo. This though, also sets up a tackle. Now if you do go down this route, the opponent may stay grounded. To cover that, use heal drop. Let's talk special moves. First up, we have jab and dear free. On their own, these moves are not great. What makes them stand out though, is the range of extensions. The most notable one is DF31. Now this is mid high, but it's plus two on block. For Marduk, that is actually pretty good. For poking, we have Gorilla Rush. Here, both hits are safe. That means just using the first hit is not a bad idea. You also get a stomp or a ground throw attempt if the second hit is a count hit. Now despite being a grappler, Marduk actually has good lows. D3 is 16 frames and it's only minus 12. D4 on the other hand is 14 frames and it high crushes. On block it's minus 16 but it's also a knee. That means it can't be low parried. Another fine low is Babel Smasher. On hit this does 20 damage and you're at plus 5. On count hit it's 59 damage and you get okay. 
We also have Python Explosion. This is launch punishable, but it grants a knockdown. From there, you can start another mix up. Last low is DB4. On shallow hit, get up free is guaranteed. On deep hit, you get OK. If they get up, back two will hit. If they stay down, D3 will catch. Rage Drive will also hit back rollers. On top of that, we get a stomp by the wall. 1 plus 2 is this push. On count it, this is plus 16. That means that DF1 is then guaranteed. F3-2 is an anti-duck tool. The second hits can be sidestepped, but if they don't, the risk reward is greatly in your favour. On block, it's minus 11. On hit, you do half bar damage. Up 4-3 is a counter launcher. It's slow, but the float is high. It's also only minus 2. That means you can set up a power crush. We also have FF32. Now this is minus 14, but it leads to ridiculous damage. Let's talk Rage. Marduk's Rage Eye is generic. His Rage Drive though is exceptional. It hits standing and aerial. That means you can use it in combos. Just make sure you use the wall carry version to get optimal damage. What you'll also notice is that the mounted attacks don't scale. That means you can do ridiculous damage and have good combat potential. On block, you can be up to plus 11. From there, you have three options. The headbutt is mid, the ankle snatch is low, holding back keeps you safe. So putting all that together, what is Marduk's playstyle? Well, I see him as a vortex character. You want to score a knockdown and then go for a tackle or a mix up. Marduk also has an above average backdash and a good range DF1. What that means is that any whiffs you create can be launched. Where Marduk is weak is applying pressure and resisting it. So many of Marduk's moves are minus on block, and since he's so wide, he doesn't sidestep well either. To combat that, we have two options. The first is his reversal. This activates in three frames and handles punches and kicks. It's also unchickenable. The other option is his high crushes. We have headbutt, battering ram, and big lift. With each one, the risk and reward increases. If you want to play safe though, just low jab. The other weakness is his while standing punishment. Marduk doesn't launch until 18 frames, so certain lows can be abused. To combat that, it's imperative you low parry. Now if you want to take a deeper look into Marduk, check out my playlist on him. That'll teach you everything I know, including some fancy tech.